I recently saw a video where Austin from Gospel Simplicity mentions how he is deep in church history but is yet to convert to Orthodoxy or Catholicism. I did enjoy Austin's video a lot and especially his honesty. Austin, if you're watching this, I do really admire your integrity and your willingness to research the fullness of the truth. If you permit me, there are a few things that you mentioned that I would like to quickly address. But first, let's take a quick look at a small portion of his video. I often think of myself as this kind of non-resistant, non-convert. What I mean by that is I'm not resistant to the idea of converting. In fact, in many ways, I'd prefer to be Catholic or Orthodox. I love the liturgies. I love the culture around it, the art, the centuries of tradition. I love the, the depth and the theology. Like I, I love so much of it. I love the devotional life. I've taken on a lot of practices from these traditions. I don't have any qualms really with converting. I just haven't been intellectually convinced. Then Austin goes on to mention that he has not been entirely intellectually convinced yet to convert. And that he has assumed in the past that if he read enough, at some point it would just click. He seems convinced by the majority of his research, but there are a few things that are keeping him from converting just yet. Austin, although I generally approve of your thought process, I do not think that you have to understand everything to convert. From a biblical perspective, many of the families that were baptized had not fully grasped the faith yet before their baptism. It does take time. What is crucial is that you understand the holistic reality of the Orthodox Church. Having said this, I do want to share with you an important passage I came across in my daily readings where one of the greatest scholars of Western Orthodoxy is sharing his personal conversion. He says the following, I am grateful that my initial contact with Orthodoxy was not through reading books nor meeting members of the Orthodox Church through social context, but through attending an act of worship. The Church is primarily a liturgical community. Worship comes first, doctrine and discipline second. That same idea you already allude to in your video when you say that you enjoy the liturgy, and that is in itself a good indication of where you are. Remember that faith in Christ is both logical and above logic. It is a paradox. So question, will you be able to prove everything in orthodoxy? No. But can you prove everything in Christianity, generally speaking? No. But because there's a clear weight of evidence for Christianity, we therefore believe, especially that everything else falls way short in comparison. However, when Christianity is practiced, the evidence is transformed into proof. The truth becomes as clear as day. It is the same with orthodoxy. Living an orthodox life will be your personal proof. I don't believe you are very far, but it is up to God to give you the final push you need. In the meantime, I will be praying for you.